are Nancy Drew, Clue Crew, it's Argolfump, and welcome to the Quarren Stream. Yes, it's the Quarantine live stream here welcome in 2020. Welcome to my latest quiz, Danger on Deception Island. To learn how to play, choose Gameplay Overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either Junior or Senior Detective. Now here's a question. People are saying, I, I mean, right now it's, it's March, it's towards the end of March. People are saying that maybe we'll have another quarantine uh, sometime in the fall or in the winter, like in November or something. Yeah, quarantine part two. So does that mean I'll have to play through all the Nancy Drew games again? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we'll be playing this game right now. It's Danger on Deception Island. Definitely, uh, definitely a favorite game of a lot of people. I think it's fine. It's not my favorite game, but it's pretty cool. It's one of the good early games in the series. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Beth arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every year's Nancy. This is this is so cool. Okay, yay! Hey, we're here solving a mystery. Katie? Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Great timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel, and now it... Oh my gosh, what happened? Someone tore the place apart. The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Dun, 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 dun. So Nancy shows up just as Katie's boat is sabotaged. Are you going to be able to fix it? I better be able to. I can't afford to pay someone else to do it. And if I end up having to replace a lot of parts, I don't know what I'm going to do. We better call the sheriff. Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates, and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You. But this is a crime. It needs to be reported. Look, you're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town, or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket, and don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? And Nancy unpacks. Need any help? Nope, I'm all unpacked. Woohoo! Let's check her luggage. Same luggage. Okay, she's got her ugly horse t-shirt. <laughs> uh, she's got some tokens uh, from the previous game. No, oh, the, the Maya Pottery game. Yay! Cool. And we can make her a disgusting sandwich made of jellyfish. Here, have some jellyfish sandwich. And expired mayonnaise. Uh, ew, expired mayonnaise is yucky. And hot sauce, yes, hot sauce and jellyfish. Hello. Oh, suddenly I don't feel so good. You gave yourself food poisoning? All I know is I made myself a sandwich and. Ugh didn't agree with me. The ideal sandwich is a visually pleasing combination of high quality carbohydrates and protein. Just keep it simple and you can't go wrong. Chef Sherwood says... Sorry guys, gotta go. Poor Nancy. Okay, well I will keep the deadly sandwich and give Katie food poisoning. 
You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. You think that could be why somebody did this to your boat? I did get pretty obnoxious. See, the thing is, this orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a $1,000 fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. I take it not everyone agrees? The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea, which costs them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. But the fishery service has the last word? They've asked me to monitor her physical condition while they study their data and decide what to do. But personally, I agree with the no-boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to her pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. All right, so I guess we can't feed her now. This note wasn't here before, was it? No, whoever messed up my boat must have written it. Stop meddling or uh -oh. else. Katie's GPS doesn't look so hot. I'd better tell Katie her GPS is broken. Uh, your GPS is broken, Katie. Uh, GPS, that's Global Positioning System. What's up? I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh, no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. See you in a bit. Have fun. So that's where we're going to get the GPS from. And Katie has something here. Wonder what's in here. It's fish. It's fishy fish. Let's see, here's a map of the island. This is where the orca is. Yep, there's an orca uh, just near the island. Where does Katie sleep? Nancy sleeps down there. I guess Katie sleeps like this is Nancy's bed and Katie's bed is uh, on the other side. That's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm guessing. Okay, if I use your microscope? Sure, go ahead. Woo, it's a microscope. Wow. So we get close-up views of everything. Apparently our saboteur took all the books out of the drawer up here. Must have been looking for something. Want me to put them away? If you could put them back in the drawer for me, that would be awesome. Oh, this puzzle. Let's okay, see if we can do it. the best way to get all these in here with no space left over? Um, no idea. Uh, I feel like the books that go together line up well, and maybe this goes in a corner. Yeah, there we go. And nothing goes on top of that. But yeah, see how this has a big space in between it? I feel like that means it shouldn't go there. But if I put this here, there's no big space. Uh, but this has a little space. is nicer and it'll do something like say if these go together well they would be stuck together on junior mode making it way easier to figure out which pieces go there yeah maybe that this is so not going to work It does look like the, that right-hand side uh, 
looks pretty good. Maybe. Nope. I, I just, just, just not even. I don't. I don't even know if I can do this puzzle. It's obviously more difficult on uh, junior mode, uh, as senior mode compared to junior mode. But it's still pretty tough on both modes. Pretty good collection. But then there's no room for anything else. Oh boy. I'll try once more. Let's see if I can get these big ones. Nothing fits on top of them, right? Yeah, nothing fits on top of those except these smaller ones. Those smaller ones don't fit together, so maybe it's gotta be these two by twos. Something like that, perhaps. Um, but then this this one's too big to fit anywhere. Oh, no room to put this big one. How long have I been? I mean, all these books are just glued together. How long have I been I'm working on this puzzle? Ten minutes now? No, it can't have been just ten minutes for just this puzzle, right? Oh, boy. This is almost making me want to restart and try again on uh, junior detective mode. Oh, my gosh. Almost. Yeah, I feel like it has to be the case with these giant ones, these giant books. They have to go together somehow, something like this. That just 100% has to be it. Wow, look at that, perfect fit. I feel like that was a good job. Oh, I almost got it to fit there. You saw, right? That's one away. Got it. Okay. They're technically kind of overlapping here. You can see we've got a little bit of overlap, but oh my gosh. What pieces would go up top there? No, not those. Hmm. 
Yes. I can move this just a little bit to the left to give myself just the littlest bit of wiggle room. Yes. Let's see if this works. No. Oh no. Oh. No. Just get this in that little spot there. Maybe this in that little spot there. Oh, almost. I feel like this should be a solution. Yes, got it. Woo! Solved it, everybody. We have this book by Dr. Irina Predimichu. issues, microscopic tracheid analysis, microtome surfacing? This is what she looks like, Dr. Pritavichu. The gorgeous doctor. Oh, Dr. Pritavichu. So in this game, we need to find so more of these thingies. Maybe it's a message. That's odd. Four of those, all four of those, and that will kickstart the mystery. Oh yeah, and uh, uh, Whale World. Let's let's stop by Whale World. I think it's closed at this point because I didn't find the uh, card for Whale World. Be back shortly. Yeah, the picture of Dr. Predibuchu is the same picture of Henry Belay's mom in game number 17, Legend of the Crystal Skull. Let's say that's her maiden name before she married Mr. Belay. Here's the hot kettle cafe. Oh, this puzzle, we wanted to make like a royal flush. Oh, it's more difficult than I thought. I'm trying for... I don't know which one I should try for. It looks like Diamonds works. Oh, wait. No, no, no. This one needed to be pink, right? It's like I'm terrible at this puzzle. Ten, ace. Yeah, wow, I'll try that one again. Yeah, these puzzles are way more difficult on uh, senior mode, it looks like. It looks like the layout of the puzzles. Okay, so number two and number four are the ones that are easily changed. And then the other ones are all sort of synced up together. Oh my gosh. Oops. Let me do that. If I can get those two, uh, these two ones on the left synced up, that would be great. Or the ones on the right. Get it eventually, and then I'll worry about those ones uh, on the left. So, so right before the ten is the jack of hearts, and then right before the ace is the uh, the one ten. 
So I'll get the jack, jack there. And the, the tent. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Okay. I need it to be the diamond. Okay, so I want to get this at the uh, jack. Yeah. So jack of spades, that's good. Left needs to be at the uh, ace of spades. Okay, so I want this ace of spades. Ace of spades and then jack. Oh yeah, got it. Okay, never mind. I I I was trying to figure out how to get that synced, and then I already got it synced. Hooray! Please let this work. No, this one doesn't have any diamond ones that work. So, uh, yeah. Far too much noise for a very empty space. All, all the, the party is here. They're just being very loud. Too bad I wasn't invited. Sounds like they're having fun. Loudest of the loud louds. Let me take a picture of this with my phone. So I can remember it. There's a male Dungeness Crab, there's a female Dungeness Crab. Just in case you wanted to know more about Dungeness Crabs. Let's tackle that puzzle again. I have to do four of them. So if it's not diamonds, uh, let's go with spades. I can get this one to be like the ace of spades. Jack of spades. I get this one to be queen, I guess. Yeah. I just need to find a way to get these two synced. Okay. So right before it turns into the Jack of Spades here in the middle, it becomes a queen. I believe that is a queen. And then this one on the left, of course, because the ace is the ten of hearts. So I get this a ten of hearts. And this one on a queen. And then I can do that to get both of them correct. That doesn't help because now the right one's unsynced. Okay. Everybody's shouting to each other when they're 10 feet away, obviously. Terrible at this puzzle. I don't know why. Why this one's causing me so much trouble. I made a royal flush. There we go. It's supposed to be quite simple. I don't know why it isn't. Let's look at this bookshelf. A book on sea monsters. Very cool. Here's Caddy, Cat Horasaurus. Sea monster which haunts this town. Arr, 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 nasty cat Atlantic herring. Jenna, I want your recipe for clam chowder. Yeah. Which one do you think this one is? Uh, hearts? Hearts is looking pretty good right now. Hearts was looking pretty good for a second there, and then it stopped. Okay, Jack of Hearts. I've already forgotten the one I just did. I did spades. Let's try clubs for this. That looks pretty good there. Be king. I made 
your royal flesh. And the next one might be diamonds. Okay, now we don't have to bother with that for a long time. Hooray, we solved the puzzle. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Actually, I'm looking for someone named Holt Scotto. So what do you want? <laughs> I'm Holt Scotto. I'm Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone said I might be able to find you in here. Oh, you're not one of them save the whale and uh, heck with everybody else crusader types like she is, are you? I... I'm just here on vacation. Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor, precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, is the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale? Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? She's back at the boat right now trying to fix her engine. Somebody vandalized it. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway, welcome to Snake Horse Harbor, home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. Who's Cadborosaurus? Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the Snake Horse. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times at Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. Is it a friendly sea monster? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog would roll in at night, and men would just vanish. It was a snake horse, people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. Why do you think they vanished? Well, they'd been Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy'd be having a drink one minute, and next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. He'd wake up on the high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then. And an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. How often do you go fishing? Every day. Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. Campaign meetings? You're running for office? I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense. Instead of doing what's politically correct all the time, Harbor Master we got now bends over backwards so far for the environmentalists, it's a wonder he can still walk upright. Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. Thing is, I'd like to go kayaking while I'm here, only I can't without a GPS. Oh, now that really is a shame. Tell you what, I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? I don't know, and I don't want to know, creepy old pirate man. Why am I getting the feeling I'm not going to like this? This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Here. The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. Trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. You mean, if I take the quiz, you'll let me borrow the GPS? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. See you around. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, that was in his duffel. Hey, stay out of there. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so the sun always sets in the east? No. West. That looks right. Uh, port is Good. Left. East? Yes. Vote for holds. Correct. Rusa Major. Not. Big Dipper. Not. Little Dipper. Am I smart or what? Woo! And then 138, 81. Huh. Some sort of random number. 
Uh, masts. Very good. Schooner? Wrong. A knot. Nope. Ah, where are we gonna find information about knots? I think it's Katie's computer. Holt, I mean, we don't know who Holt is running against, right? Uh, Holt seems to be running in order to get the, the sailor mode. Because the sailors are pretty mad right now, especially with the uh, the whole orca thing. Like, what do you mean? We what do you mean we have to go all the way around the island? We just want to fish. We won't bother the orca. Yuck! I'm not picking them up. But I think that's Holt. These would be great for rock skipping. Holt's campaign thing. I already have some rocks. He's just taking advantage of public outrage over the orca in order to get himself elected. Now that's a female. We need to get a male Dungeness crab. Not a female. Oh, I thought there was one here. Is there one here? Ooh, no trespassing. Hmm, I want to trespass. Nancy should not know... Morse code, you don't really need that in order to use a kayak, right? Oh, people say it's a fisherman's knot and a bench. Thank you very much. Perfect. That should do it. That saves me a trip back to uh, Katie's GPS. I mean, Kate, Katie's computer. Are the special effects too loud uh, on this Ned, game? Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island. Dear Ned. Do I need to turn down the music too? Is that okay? And Nancy's gonna what get What do you out. think you're doing? Those signs over there say no trespassing, which means keep out. Which means you, girly. Girly? Leave. But I just... Now. Girly? But I'm just, just a normal everyday trespasser. Just trying to trespass here. Where did you come from? Where did- wait, wait, Okay, hold on a second. He's not here. He's not- Maybe he's hiding, like, here behind the back of the building or something. I don't get it. Go! And it's 130-something, uh, 43 is what people are saying. 138, 43? Perfect. Perfect. Got it. We're fantastic. Okay, we need to find that male Dungeness crap, though. Here we go. Got it. Woo! And then this is going to be its own subplot. SS. Maybe this broke off from a ship. And Nancy's going to go skipping over There's here. There's something in that. Hmm. Throw rocks at the bottle. Let's see. Let's, let's go with that angle and superpower. Ah, too far, too far. Okay. Medium power, that angle. Oh, Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. You've got to try harder. Ah. Okay, get some more rocks and try again. I already have some rocks. Nancy refuses to get more than just three. Maybe this angle superpower. This angle superpower? I'm gonna try every angle superpower. Yay! Got it! Woo! Just jump in and swim to it. That's a good idea. It would be kind of dangerous for the environment, right? To have people just I going by and stealing crabs all the time, all day long. That's not safe. Yeah, so if Holt makes everybody do that quiz, all of a sudden there will be no more crabs left on Deception Island. That's a terrible idea, Holt. You again? 
I really don't want to apologize because uh, I don't think I did anything wrong. But the game makes me apologize anyway. You were right to yell at me up there at the lighthouse. So what do you want? I've got a male crab, I think. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Just ace the rest of the quiz and you'll be home free. I'll take care of the crab for you. I finished that seamanship quiz. Let's have a look. Right as rain. Congratulations. Here's your GPS. Just turn around and follow the instructions. I'll take care of the crab for you. Great. Thank you. Victory music. See you around. Watch out for Caddy. I do like that victory music. Yes, a vote for Holt is a vote against crabs. Yes, indeed. What can I get for you, Nancy? Well, for starters, you could tell me your name. Jenna Devlin. Sorry. My aunt didn't warn me when she left me this place that I'd be inheriting her knack for eavesdropping, too. How long ago was that? Aunt Iris left it to me three years ago. It's been in the Devlin family since the day it was built, which was back in, like, 1866 or something. So, you're visiting Katie Firestone. My condolences. I presume Holt goes to the shore and releases the crab at some point. Your condolences? Me and her don't see eye to eye on a couple of things. You mean, like the whale? That orca out there should be rejoined with her pod as soon as possible. Period. End of story. No matter what Miss Fancy Schmancy science degree says, other people may be bamboozled by all her talk of data charts and field tests and monitoring whatnots, but not me. The only thing she wants is to get that whale into an aquarium. It wouldn't surprise me if Katie's been secretly feeding it. Which is against the law, by the way. And you know what else? It wouldn't surprise me if she trashed her own boat because she knew that after that meeting last night, everybody would assume that Holt did it and not want to vote for him. I got an idea. Let's change the subject. Wow, it takes almost nothing for Jenna to just completely start a rant on how much she hates Katie. So, so is she right, though? I mean, Katie thinks the whale could be sick. We need to make sure it's 100% okay before sending it back out into the ocean. Jenna says, send it back into, out into the ocean. It'll take care of itself. They both have some good ideas. So, um, yeah, what do you think about the Shanghaiing? What do you know about the Shanghaiing that used to go on around here? It never went on. That's what I know. Shoving grown men into passageways and carting them off to ships never to be seen again? It's just a big, colorful, tall tale. Never happened. I found a bottle floating in the water with a strange message inside. Most, if not all, the notes you find in bottles around here were put there by Hilda Swenson. She was this lady who retired here with her husband about 20 years ago. They made a ton of money in Hollywood as writer-producers and just wanted to enjoy life. Wonderful people. Very active. In fact, Hilda was mayor for eight years. But then, out of the blue, her husband died. They'd been a team for so long that, well... She pretty much died then, too. What do you mean? She just kind of lost it. Started talking to walls and doing bizarre things until one day she rode to the island across the channel that she and her husband owned and never came back. Are you sure she's still alive? I leave a couple of bags of groceries outside her cabin every week, and sometimes I can see her inside. But whenever I try to talk to her, she won't answer. Did she ever leave anything behind that might help decode her messages? She left everything behind. Problem is, it's all been sold, given away, or thrown out. We'll never know what's going on in that mind of hers. Well, it's been fun talking it's to you. It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. I want to get some food, though. I'm hungry. Can I get the clam chowder? Hi, Nancy. How's it going? I want to buy clam it's chowder. It's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it, though? Well... I guess, I guess that's that. Let's follow up on that uh, random piece of wood we found on the shore. Do that subplot now, because hey, why not? Why not? Why not? Hey, Katie. What's up? Sounds like Holt Scotto was one of the people who didn't care for what you had to say last night. He and I never see eye to eye. Now, if I were a fisherman, I'd be right as rain no matter what nonsense came out of my mouth. Fine harbor master he'd make. Ooh, oh man, the local politics in this town. I talked to Jenna Deblin when I was at the Hot Kettle. What nasty rumor is she spreading about me today? Oh! Why would she spread rumors about you? She thinks I'm a know-it-all from the big city. Are you? I found this piece of wood on the beach. 
There's something strange about it. What do you mean? Let's see it. Ouch, those splinters are sharp. That is odd. It looks like it's been in the water a long time, but if that were the case, those edges would be dull. That looks like it broke off of something just recently. That's exactly what I was thinking. Any idea where it came from? Could be off a cargo ship, I guess. But you know who you should ask? Casey Porterfield. He works at the Maritime Library in Port Townsend. You should give him a call. His number is 360-555-3095. He loves checking out stuff like this. See you in a bit. Enjoy. So let's see. I need to call him. Let's call Casey. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Katie Firestone suggested I give you a call. Katie who? Katie Firestone? Never heard of her. Oh. I know a marine biologist named Katie Firestone. Yes, that's her. I'm staying with her here in Snake Horse Harbor. Oh, well, then what can I do for you? She said you might be able to help me identify the ship that this piece of plywood I found on the beach came from. How do you know it came from a ship? Because it says SS on it. The rest of the name is missing. Doesn't mean anything. Now, if it said SS, which stands for steamship, that'd be different. Uh, actually, that is what it says. Oh, well, then it came from a ship. Or should I say shipwreck? What kind of wood is it? I don't know. Old? <laughs> Sorry, for a second there, I thought you said old. Actually, uh, that is what I said. You're about as much use as a beanie in a hurricane. Look, if you want me to tell you what shipwreck that wood came from, you're gonna have to tell me what kind of wood it is. But I have no idea. Well, you just get yourself a book on wood and figure it out. Maybe Katie has one. Soon as you do, call me back. I love checking out stuff like this. He's so funny. Yeah, Casey. One slice of wood. One glass slide. There. This is gonna look so cool under the microscope. He's so Let's funny. So we need to take a look at this piece of wood under the microscope. And let's call our wood expert, Dr. Predivichu. This is Dr. Predivichu. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew, and I'd like some help identifying this piece of wood I found. I'd be happy to assist. Do you have our mailing address? Well, that's the problem. I don't have time to send it to you. Would it be possible to identify it over the phone? Certainly. Just hold it up to the phone for a couple of seconds and I'll take a reading. I'm kidding, of course. I usually don't do this over the phone, but I'll give it a try. You will, however, need to take a look at your sample under a microscope. I already did that. And are you near the sample, in case you need to refer back to it? Yep, I'm right by it. All right, we'll get started. Where did you find this wood? It's a piece of driftwood, probably used for a crate. Is the wood sample black, brown, or yellow? Brownish. Brown brown or brown reddish? Brown reddish. Does the sample have many holes, just a couple, or none at all? Many. And are there some holes that are big and some that are small, or are they all the same size? They're all the same size. Okay. And the holes are really, really tiny, right? No, they're pretty sizable. Then you've got a tropical hardwood. I was assuming the sample was a North American wood. All right. Are there any distinguishable horizontal lines on the sample? Yes, there are horizontal lines. If this wood is used for creating, then it's probably Luan. It's fairly common in plywood, but it's a rainforest timber, so it's declining in popularity. Luan, all right. Thanks for your help. Glad to have been of service. She just has that memorized. She is very, very, very smart. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I called before. About the driftwood? Never heard of you. Now, if you'd have said Nancy Drew... Yes, that's me, Nancy Drew, Katie Firestone's friend. So what kind of wood are we talking about here, Nancy? Luan. Well, if that driftwood did come from a cargo container that's part of a shipwreck, there's a good chance I can figure out which one. Call me back in an hour or so. You can identify a ship by what its cargo containers are made out of? Ever since the hobo spider got into the U.S. by laying eggs in the wood crating of ships coming from Europe, the feds have made sure that cargo ships keep real careful records. Of course, I'll be taking things like tides, currents, weather conditions, proximity to Snake Horse Harbor. I'll be taking all those factors into consideration, too. 
I really appreciate your doing this for me, Casey. And well, you should. Fantastic. Let's call some of Nancy's other friends. Let's call Bess and George. They're funny in this game. Hello? Hey, Bess. It's me. Hey, how's it going? Grab the phone. It's Nancy. While George picks up, I'm going to turn down the heat under my roux. Under your what? Hey, Nance. So, how's your vacation going? Great. I got here just in time to solve a mystery. No, no, no. No mysteries, Nancy. You're supposed to be relaxing. Oh, give it up, George. She can't help it. So what's the deal with this one? The crime, vandalism. The time, just before I arrived. The scene, Katie's boat. What? Don't worry, we're both fine. The engine of the boat was damaged, but Katie's working on it. Why would somebody do something like that? Uh-oh. I bet it's got something to do with that orphan killer whale. You know about that? Katie told us about the whale when we called to tell her you were on your way. Someone vandalized Katie's boat because of a whale? Yeah, it's, it's a long story. Because of Katie's opinion as to what to do with a whale, which she expressed very loudly in front of a lot of people last night. Katie does have a mouth on her. Especially when the subject is marine life. Did they find any fingerprints? Katie wouldn't let me call the sheriff. Why not? She said she was afraid her insurance company would raise her rates. Well, she doesn't have much money, I can tell you that. Uh-oh, Bess, is that supposed to be smoking like that? Oh, no! Darn it! Darn what? My roux. It's ruined. Oh, no. She wrecked her roux. It's not funny, George. Yes, it is, Bess. What's a roux? A carefully heated mixture of flour and butter. I was going to use it to thicken my gumbo. Gumbo? Did you say gumbo? Rock shrimp gumbo. It was Chef Sherwood's main dish last night. She's hooked on this cooking show called Beasting for Fitness. Let me guess. It's hosted by a guy, and he's very cute. That happens to be true, but I watch it because I like his philosophy. Eat in moderation and eat only that which is made out of fresh ingredients and cooked with great skill, care, and judgment. Yes, like gumbo roux. What else have you cooked? Yesterday she cooked, or should I say ruined, crepes. They weren't ruined. I mean, you could still eat parts of them. Anyway, I want to hear what you're doing, Nance. I can't help but think it's a little weird that Katie didn't call the sheriff after her boat was vandalized. You think she's trying to hide something? I know she's your friend, George, but I just got the feeling she wasn't telling me everything. Well, it's not like she's my best friend or anything. But what would she be hiding? This one woman, Jenna Devlin, she suggested that Katie trashed her own boat in order to discredit Holt Scotto and keep him from becoming harbor master. So are you going to confront her? I don't really have anything to confront her with. Good, because as I recall, Katie doesn't do confrontation very well. My gosh, George. Is there anything else Nancy should know about this so-called friend of yours? Katie's fine. She just has a few edgy little quirks, that's all. Great. That's probably what they said about Lizzie Borden. Yeah, no, uh, apparently, apparently Katie is crazy and just screams and yells at everybody whenever she doesn't get her way. Jenna Devlin went ballistic when I brought up the subject of Katie and the whale. What's her problem? I get the feeling she just basically doesn't like Katie very much. Sounds like a candidate for your suspect list to me. Holt Scotto caught me poking around the lighthouse and freaked. He all but chased me away with a stick. Why should he care if you poke around the lighthouse? Good question. The obvious answer is that he's hiding something. One should always be suspicious of a suspect. Right. You're going to love this, Bess. I found a message in a bottle. Oh, that is so romantic. What did it say? I was hoping maybe you could tell me. What do you mean? The message makes no sense. Well, it must make sense to somebody. Keep your eyes open and keep asking questions, Nan. You'll figure it out. I better get going. Yes. Do you smell something burning? Shoot! Bye, Nance! Yeah, it sort of sounds like George and Katie got into a big fight at some point. That's what it sounds like. Here's Katie's business card. Oh, here I am. Uncle Bob's birthday. Oh, I love this art. So Rottweiler art. This... The <laughs> It's, it's pictures of Rottweilers. Yay! Aw, oh, that's so cute. From Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Okay, so now that I have... Oh, oh, we can have a game over sequence. Nancy did not wear a life jacket, and so she died. 
not much of a game over sequence. Okay, put on your life jacket, and then let's see. You go uh, forward a couple times. W123. And we're gonna go paddling over to the cool caves, which I think are around here. Ow. No, no, oh, that's, that's just Katie's place. Let's see if I can make it to those cool caves. They're so cool, man. There we go. Woo! This is kind of cool, a little waterfall. I like that. Here we go. Here's the here's the boat. So now we uh, we have no signal for the GPS, so we can't actually solve that puzzle. Okay, well then let's go out and get some signals. Know your place. So, Northwest 48, and then, let's see, yellow, yellow, looking yellow, 42517, 42517, and then it was West 123, 08615, 08615. Woo! So this gives us a new location. Victory music. I've never been to this beach before. It's kind of a cool beach. It's a little fun stuff. Have to build a sandcastle. I could use a break. Just make a sandcastle. Oh, come on, that would be a great sand castle. Let's see if I can build it like this. Really? Oh! Time to go back to work. Darn, darn, darn. Over here. Oops, must be ticklish. I believe we have an Easter egg. Let me check. So the Easter egg is uh, just click on the guppy over and over and over again. It swims! Yeah, soundtrack to this game is phenomenal. I really like it. times did we have to, to click on the guppy just over and over and over again? Hi, I'm Lumpy, and I was created by Kyle Jones and Donovan Larson. I suppose. Okay, so now we need to spell out the word Rosebud over here, because that was on those hidden notes. So, Rosebud. R. I took a picture with my phone, so it's R. O. S. E. B. U. D. Now that wasn't D. This is D. I don't know what all those letters mean, but something tells me this may come in handy. Sure will. There once was a dog named Alpha who lived in the high This is Sierra. the weirdest story I've ever read. So ask. So far, so good. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> 
JD for Hilda's gifts. I'm getting there. Ta-da! Ask H-S-A-J-J-D for Hilda's gift. Congratulations! I hope you enjoyed finding this, because you and I are just getting started. I've got a secret. Well, two secrets, but I don't hold... I don't believe in just handing things to you on a send silver platter. from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code? You need to send me something on top of the lighthouse for Morse something code. Something is fishy in Snake Horse Harbor. So Hilda left behind this very long puzzle for Nancy. We need to ask the people for their gifts, their gifts from Hilda, in order to proceed. So they basically, she basically gave them an anagram puzzle, and Nancy is going to get their gifts and solve the anagram. So at this point, we actually do need to uh, solve this puzzle. So we can't meet Andy until we look here. I discovered that the faucet doesn't work. It'd be great if you could fix it. The pipes are in the cupboard under the sink. At least the person who messed up the faucet left all the pipes here. I hope. Give me a second. You want to right click the, the pieces to rotate it as uh, the game just told you. Oh, come on, that totally goes there. Hmm, what about this piece? That doesn't go there. There we go, it was that piece. That's the piece you want to put. This goes here. Now, unless I'm mistaken, you don't actually need to rotate any of these pieces. Am I right, or am I that wrong? Go there. That doesn't go there. This is very difficult, very weird faucet. Yeah, so all these pipes just kind of go into random positions. Uh, this piece? Yes. Yeah, this and I'm correct. Here. You don't need to rotate any of the pieces in order to solve the puzzle. This the pipe's all here. fixed. I'll turn the water back on. Hmm, there was something under the pipes. And that gives us the card to Whale World. Andy Jason's Whale World. What's up? Who's Andy Jason? Andy does whale watching tours, too. If I had a dollar for every time he's come here trying to talk me into selling out to him, I wouldn't be fixing this engine. I'd be buying a new one. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to talk to all these characters, see if we can get the, get the stuff. Let's start with Andy because we haven't met him yet. And this is where you learn what the uh, penalty is for clamming without a permit. Whales rule! Whee! Oh, wait, 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 hold on a second. I think we need to see we need a card. Looks like I need a key card to play. And then I can ask Andy for a key card. Hi there. Welcome. What can I do you for? Are you Andy Jason? That's me. How'd you know? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm a friend of Katie Firestone's. I saw your business card on her boat. Nice to meet you, Nancy. Any friend of Katie's is a friend of mine. Even though she keeps refusing to sell out to you? I must admit, that is a little frustrating. Maybe she just likes being in business for herself. I'm offering her the deal of a lifetime. She'd make more money, she'd have more free time. I mean, look at this place. I run a first-class operation. It's my mission to see that everyone who comes to Snake Horse Harbor leaves with a greater appreciation for marine mammals. And if I make a buck in the process, that's cool too. Why do you want to buy Katie out? 
She can't be taking that many customers away from you. I don't like her taking any customers away from me. And frankly, with this whale doing its orphan thing out there, I'm losing a lot of customers to her. Isn't the whale just as good for your business as it is for hers? Katie convinced the fishery service that she should be allowed to monitor the orca's condition, which means she can get right up next to the whale while my boat has to stay away. I knew that, but you're saying she actually takes people out when she visits the whale? Katie takes passengers with her when she checks on the whale? Paying passengers, as many as she can safely fit. Okay, that seems really kind of like an evil scumbag move for Katie to be doing, right? That that does not seem like it's good. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you a present? She gave me the design I used to create the keychains I give away to everyone who goes on a Whale World Whale Watch. She was quite the graphic artist. May I see the design? Sure, if you go on a Whale Watch. Oh, it, the picture's right there uh, on the, uh, uh, right to the side of Andy. Nancy should just be able to zoom in and get a qu quick look at it. Someone ransacked Katie's boat while she was in town this morning, made a real mess. Hmm, wonder if it's related to those burglaries. What burglaries? A bunch of stuff was stolen from two shops earlier this week. Food, tools, clothing, electronics. There was no sign of forced entry, no trace of who did it. Sheriff's still scratching his head. Whoever ransacked Katie's boat tore a bunch of parts out of her engine. It's like they wanted to make sure she couldn't go anywhere for a while. That's too bad. In a way, it's kind of good. I mean, for you at least. Very true. As long as her boat's out of commission, I'll get all her customers. Yeah, so that's a motive. I'd like to play the games in your center, but it looks like I need some kind of key card. Here you go. This will activate all the games. It will also keep track of what games you've won. And it'll let you play all the games as many times as you want. I think that's the keychain of his over there on the left. I, I, Thanks I, for your time. Have a good one. Could be wrong. Let's get that cool keychain. Like, you think he would have the keychain for, for wow, sale. that's a beauty. That would have been something which would make sense. But no. Ooh, t-shirts. Awesome. Okay, so we get to solve some puzzles now, everyone. Let's see if we can do it. So, okay, this is Humpback Whale? Orca? No. Some whales are extremely intelligent, so they've been trained by the military. Orcas kill and eat other whales. Baleens have two blowholes. And makes I don't know. Oh, okay. I'll do better next time. Oh no, look, we'll see. That looks like it's the Whale World logo that's next to him. Let's figure it out. Andy's hair is pretty amazing. I'd have to say yes. So whales eat uh, mostly abalone. They have grooved throats. A baleen whale involved includes all of the above. Toothed whales do not possess all of the above. Orcas are identified by markings on their bellies. Oh! A baleen whale sucks in great amounts of water, and I failed. You get two wrong, you're, you're terrible. Seeing objects is called echolocation. Whales can hold their breath for hours at a time. Days at a time? Whales can dive um, several thousand feet? No. The whale that doesn't have a dorsal fin is the humpback? No. Orca whale is endangered? No. Okay, which can swim the fastest? Is it the orca? No. Extremely intelligent. Killer whales kill and eat other whales. They have two blowholes. Let's see, last time I picked triangle, right? And that was wrong. And baleen eats small plankton. Ugh. Oh, this game. They have grooved throats. 
those are all baleen whales. Toothed whales, all of the above. Individual orcas, so was bellies correct? Or was it, no. Let's go with dorsal fins. Dorsal fins. A baleen whale sucks in great mouthfuls of water. Did it. We made it. Yay, okay. And then this one is way more fun. So you have to swim here and just eat a bunch of fish. And just go up and down, try to avoid the bad things. Like the toxic gas, I don't know why that's... Uh, I, I guess it's not gas, but it's toxic waste. get eaten by jellyfish either. And a killer whale? Oh, it's gonna kill you. And torpedoes. Try not to get hit by torpedoes if you're a whale. Yay! And I made 20,000. I win! Actually, supposed to do is listen to these things. So the meat goes. Burp is the gray whale. It's the humpback whale. So let's do this audio station. Throughout the center, you've been able. That's one we haven't done. Uh, the porpoise. That's the killer whale. So that was the mink. And that was the humpback. And then one is the gray whale. That whale skeleton is giant, yes. Oh, and here's a fun one. Yum! 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 Ah, 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 no. Just feed all the fish. All the whales. Yay, I win. Woo! Okay, so now I get to do the whale of... Fortune! Yum, 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 and I get a free tour. I won the whale watching tour. All right. Awesome. So we needed the uh, whale watching tour. Hey, Andy. Andy, free tour Hi, for Nancy. me. That boat in a bottle you have is fascinating. It was made by one of the first non-Native Americans to settle here. A guy named Benjamin Hawkins. I bought it from this lady who kind of went bonkers after her husband died. You mean Hilda Swenson? That's the one. Gave away everything she owned, moved to this tiny island across the channel, and went certifiably nuts. Which is too bad. She was a nice lady. I won a free whale watching tour. Well, congratulations. I'll give you an exclusive tour. Just be you and me. Sounds great! So, a private tour with Andy. Oh my. Ooh, nice shot, Nancy. Aww, oh, that's a cute otter. Yeah, that caddy cap sounds pretty cute. Oh, there's an orca! 
Even cooler. Thank you for the great tour and for letting me use your camera. My pleasure. Since I took your whale watching tour, I get a free keychain, right? Actually, I only give them to paying customers. Now, why did the term false advertising suddenly pop into my head? Okay, okay. Thanks for your time. Drop by again. Tren. Wonder what that means. Okay, T R E N. What does that even mean? I guess it looks basically the same as the logo that he has there, though, right? Hi, Nancy. Thanks for your time. Whales rule. Whales rule. Okay, the caddy puzzle, right? Miss, please don't touch that. He refuses to let you touch it. It's not very nice of him. Yes, poor Andy is definitely going to be losing money if people will just get on the tour for free as opposed to, you know, actually paying for it. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Does Andy Jason ever come in here? Everybody comes in here. Know how some people can't go a day without coffee? People around here can't go a day without a bowl of my clam chowder. In fact, if you ever want a free sample, just say the word. So Andy Jason is one of your regulars? Actually, he only comes in once or twice a week. Says he's too busy. Of course, the reason he's so busy is because he's too cheap to hire another person to help him run the place. Kind of surprised me when I heard he was trying to buy Katie Firestone out. Must have something up his sleeves, all I can figure. Did Hilda Swenson give you something? She made a necklace for me. Prettiest thing I own. I'd show it to you, but it's at my house. How did you know she gave me something? It's kind of a long story, but I'd really love to see that necklace. Problem is, my home's across town, and I'm real low on clams, which means I've got to go clamming before I can even think about doing anything else. But I really need to see that necklace. Okay, if you get the clams, I'll go get the necklace. You can put them in here. Fifteen ought to do it. That's the limit anyway. But you also need a permit. Andy Jason can issue you one. Can I have、uh, some clam chowder? Think I could try a bowl of your clam chowder? Coming right up. Next one will be on the house too. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That was delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Ain't that the truth? Mmm. Yummy. Clam Hi, Nancy.、Chowder. How's it going? It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. Yeah. It is kind of funny how Andy Andy starts calling Nancy. Oh, Miss, please don't touch that. Even though they were on a first name basis like five minutes ago. I understand that Hilda Swenson gave you something. So what if she did? Do you think I could see it? Tell you what, this chess problem I've been working on is giving me fits. Here, solve it for me, and I'll let you see what Hilda gave me. Feel free to look at the chess book in my duffel bag if you need help. Let me know when you're through. I don't know what chess is. Let's take a look. Ah,、oh, and this tells you what a royal flush is, in case you don't know. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Thirty-four seventy-five. Wow. Yeah, that's that's complicated. Okay. So move piece、um, U R R. Okay, I'm moving the rook. Which one is the rook?、Um, give me a second. What does a rook look like? The castle-like piece. Okay, it can move horizontally or vertically. Okay. So I. I need to move this. Let's pretend it goes up. Yeah, Lola. Let's see what happens、yeah. if it goes up.、Huh. Yeah. No, then let's move it down.、Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then let's move it left. Right. I'm trying every spot. Correct. Rook moves to H5, so black would move here. Okay, and then now what piece do I move? Perfect. I move the rook again.、Uh, let's pretend I'm moving it up. Oh, yes. There. Checkmate. 
I move it up to, and somehow that wins the chess game. Hooray! Yay! Oh, by the way, this is that puzzle that was earlier. Like, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot. So we were looking for those letters on uh, these words in Hilda's fancy letters. So Alpha, Sierra, yep. And then Kilo, so that would be Ask A-S-K. Done with that chess problem yet? Check it out. Right as rain. And to keep up my end of the bargain, here's what Hilda gave me. Handle's made of scrimshaw. She carved it herself. Never would tell me why she wrote one bum on it like that. Of course, this was after her husband died. Guess her mind was starting to go. Thanks for letting me see it. See you around. Yo ho ho. Let's go back to Whale World. I need to go clamming. Hi, Nancy. I need a clamming permit. Jenna said I could get one from you. Ordinarily you could, but permits mean paperwork, and I'm kind of busy right now. Of course, if someone wanted to volunteer to help me... Oh, no. He's going to make me do his chores. What kind of help do you need? Inside that box marked Caddy is a miniature of what our resident sea monster might look like in skeletal form. Assemble it for me, and I'll not only give you a permit, but I'll throw in a free clam tube. And remember, whales rule! I thought you didn't want me to solve this. Like, miss... Please don't touch that. And now all of a sudden he's all, Nancy, Good. You, you could do this puzzle for me. Nah. Yeah, that's how I respond when somebody tries to get me to do their chores. Nah. Hmm. Good. Let's just put all these pieces nah. together. Hmm. Good. I'm not the best at this puzzle. It's a little difficult. Hmm. Nah. Nah. Hmm. I believe this is the tail piece. Bingo. Got it. Hmm. 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 Nah. I don't know where that nah. big piece goes. I, I have no idea. Maybe this is a neck nah. piece? Hmm. Hmm. Bingo. Yeah, and that's the neck piece, but I needed to turn it slightly. Bingo. Yes. Nah. Nah. Where is that big nah. piece going to go? Maybe this one here? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then maybe these connect hmm. in some sort of strange way? Bingo. Yes. Nah. Oh, no. Nah. Let's get these tiny pieces at the end. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Oh, yeah. And then this piece is just going to be what? The giant butt piece? Nah. Nah. Hmm. Nah. Put this here. Good. Wow, am I a creative genius or what? Woohoo, I did it! Yep, and it was the giant butt piece. That's amazing. Hi, Nancy. So fourteen ninety five for that. I finished putting that display together. So you did. Caddy never looked better. Here's your permit, and here's your clam tube. Look for little holes in the sand. Sometimes water will squirt out of them. Anyway, center the tube over the hole, push it down into the sand, and pull. If you're quick enough, the clam will be in the sand that comes out of the tube. If not, try, try again. Thanks for your time. Have a good one. Yeah, I wonder what Andy thinks just watching Andy, Nancy solve that puzzle. Nancy's like, hmm, huh, hmm, nah, 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 bingo, nah, bingo. <laughs> Am I a creative genius or what? 
And he's just sitting back, shaking his head, going... I, I just won't ask any questions. She's doing this for free. I, I, I'm getting free labor out of her. Let's call it Casey. Maritime Library, this is Casey. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy Drew. Oh, then I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The SS Whitechapel Dawn. Sank five years ago right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor. About a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy, what with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway, everything fits except one thing. I knew it was too good to be true. The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris up from it. Just not possible. What about volcanic activity? Maybe it sank on top of an undersea vent or something. I've been doing this type of research for 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. What kind of ship was the Whitechapel Dawn? It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? About the smuggling. Please, tell me everything. Nothing to tell. After it sank, some crew members said there was something unusual about the cargo it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics. Just rumors. How many people went down with the ship? Zero. Everybody managed to survive. Official cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy? No, thanks. Caddy! That's what they call it. Caddy! Anyway, this has been fun, young lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, by the way, I just got done emailing you something. What? I said, I just got done emailing you something. Great, thanks. Well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. I certainly hope he doesn't operate heavy machinery. Poor, poor Casey. <laughs> just, he just has a hard time hearing other people. Ah, clam hole. Gotcha, clams. Okay, so that's one. How many do we need? Fifteen, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, fifteen clams. I'm all set. Woohoo! I am such a cheater. I, I'm so sorry about that. Casey thinks all this stuff is interesting. Ooh, a piece of wood! Yay! But uh, smuggling? Yeah, that's kind of boring. Nobody cares about smuggling. He needs to work on his priorities. Hi, Nancy. Oh, good, you got the clams. Let me take those from you. I'll take that clam tube off your hands, too. You'll never guess what happened. While I was home getting that necklace for you, somebody broke in here. The sheriff just left. What did the sheriff say? Nothing. He looked around, wrote down what was stolen, shook his head, and said he'd call me. What's weird is I'm not only missing food, like bread and eggs and stuff like that, but it looks like they also stole a bunch of tools and some boat parts. Boat parts? Go figure. What's more, both doors were locked when I got here, and none of the windows were broken. It's like a ghost did it. You know, it's possible that the sheriff missed something. If you want to play detective, please be my guest. If you have any questions, just holler. Oh yeah, no, that, that clam sheet is fantastic. Match pairs across all three screens. This puzzle is not fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm terrible at this one. Fish and fish. I think here on uh, the senior mode, there's like a certain number of things which match. So like a third of them match. Or let's say half of them match. Let's see. Let's see if I can make all the matches that are possible on this screen. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just no good at this one. Ooh, pie. Yay, salt and pepper, salt and pepper. Where is that frying pan? Yeah, see, I'm not seeing any more matches. Are there any matches I'm missing here on this screen? No, so then let's go to the next screen. And find the matches here. Okay, so here's a, a kettle pot. Kettle pot on that screen. There's a pineapple like here, right? Okay, and this is bread, that sliced bread. Oh, ooh, bread. Where's the bread on this screen? Ooh. Yes. Trying to remember where everything is. Ah, egg. So I was on like the first screen. Oh, there's the slice bread. Where's that pan? Yay! Oh boy. Do we have all the matches here on this screen? I think so. Let's tackle this screen. Ah, tomatoes. I mean, mushrooms. And there was a tomato here somewhere, right? There. Grapes were on the first one. Lemon was on the first one, too. Where was that lemon? There. Ah. Okay, almost done with the first screen. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, this is just kind of a random puzzle. Where's that egg? Ah, I guess when I had the egg already. Yeah, so I've got a carrot and I've got a bag on the first screen. I didn't see any carrot or a bag, but I saw eggs, right? I saw like the single egg twice on this screen. Oh boy, okay, well, let's go over here. Oh, there's the egg. There's the bag. Let's see if we can find the carrot. Yay, screen number one is done. Woo! Oh, those two match. So that's an orange and then like a strawberry. Let's see if I can find a strawberry. So let's see those things. We've got like a pear. word is that yeah i can't believe jenna said this was the the prettiest thing she owns elef for elephant i don't know if she thinks you're an hi elephant. nancy how's it going you know your clam chowder really is awesome say no more next one will be on the house too 
Sweet. Mm -hmm. Free gumbo. That was delicious. I mean, free, free, Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Back at ya. Mm, yeah. Looks like they didn't take all her boat parts. She's got some boat parts left. And Save King. Looks like you do a lot of shopping at Save King. I do all my shopping at Save King. There's there's basically nowhere else we can buy stuff here. It's a very small island. How come you store boat parts in here? Gotta store them somewhere. I don't have a garage. I barely have a closet and my boat breaks down a lot. By solving all I of those puzzles, those burglars got in here. we reach here. I can't see a thing. I'm mean, gonna need a flashlight. It's the burglar's hidden passageway. I want to save the lighthouse, Hilda. So, uh, you've got a hidden passageway. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Do you have a flashlight I could borrow? Sorry. It's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it, though? I guess it has. Yay! Okay, so two things we can do now. Um, let's do the lighthouse one first, shall we? So let's see, I think the number to the lighthouse was 3784, and oh no, a death scene! Whoa! That was close. Okay, Nancy barely avoids being hit to death. So, was 3784? Hmm. Okay, I thought that was it, but I guess I was wrong. 3475. Victory music. So that's a hidden uh, area. That switch opens up this hidden area. This hidden area, we've got two things to do. We can grab a light. I think it's bolt number six is the correct one. I think the other ones are dead. Hmm, wonder why that's there. Through the efforts of Benny, built the wall seen here. Move the two inner pieces up. There's obviously more to this, like the other half of the picture. Woohoo! And solving that puzzle opens up this thingy, so we need to do both halves of this puzzle in order to open up that hole in the ground. I also needed to get the light anyway. So I can operate this light here at the top of the lighthouse. Looks like someone's been up here recently. Someone messy. That's today. Wonder why it's circled. Someone very messy. Looks like the bulb's missing. It's rusted shut. It's rusted shut. Ah, there we go. Dot dash, dot dot. 
Oh, I totally forget the code Nancy's supposed to send. Nancy's supposed to send her own, uh, phone number. So, give me a second to, to look it up. So, Nancy's phone number is 523-555-4399. I'll just look up Morse code numbers here. Morse code numbers. I'm going to assume that this game actually has their Morse code correct. Uh, so, five is going to be five dots. Five. Cool. And then two is two dots and then three dashes. Two. Three is three dots and two dashes. One, two, three. One, two. Three. And then five dots. Five. 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 And then four is one, two, three, four, dash. Four. Three is dot, 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 dash, dash. Three. Nine, dash, 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 dot. Nine. Dash, 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 dot. Nine. So that is Nancy's phone number. Nothing happens. Some part of the system must not be working. Oh, no. It's rusted shut. It's because it's rusted, isn't it? Oh, dear. Okay, so we need to get something to fix the rust. So in order to get that fixed... Nothing happens. Some part of the system must not be working. I think we actually have... To, uh, go back, go back to town, and get some uh, rust remover. Where are we gonna get that? Maybe from the underground caves. Could be. Do 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 do. Got a de-rusted. Yeah. No, I just did a search engine. Uh, I, you know, I used a search engine to find uh, to find Morse code. And what's this? Save King. She's buying a lot of stuff from Save King. Oh my. Looks like whatever's in here is starting to defrost. Sure does look like that, Nancy. Hey, what's going on? Sounds like you're making progress. I'm getting there. I remembered that a friend of mine had stashed some boat parts in my storage locker. Jenna Devlin said some of the things that were stolen from her back room in that burglary were boat parts she'd bought at Save King. And? And you've got a box of boat parts from Save King right there. I noticed a box from Save King over there and just thought it was kind of an interesting coincidence. Everyone around here shops at Save King. For boat parts and practically everything else. Any other questions? I saw a boat in a bottle at Andy Jason's place. He said it was made by a guy named Benjamin Hawkins. As a matter of fact, I've done some research on Hawkins. He settled here in the mid-1800s, lived in a cabin where the lighthouse is now. What else have you found out? He apparently had a major feud going with some sea captain. Hawkins would see the guy sail on the horizon, grab his family and all his valuables, and go into hiding for days. What was the feud about? Nobody knew. Rumor had it that the sea captain was an ex-pirate, which might explain why Hawkins hid. But where he hid is still a mystery. Would you by any chance have a flashlight? I have a headlamp. I mean, I have one somewhere. I'm sorry, Nancy. I'm so hungry I can hardly see straight, let alone think straight. Yes, it is very, very suspicious that they both shop at the same store. Dun, dun, dun. Would you like a sandwich? That would be awesome. Here's a sandwich for you. Great. Here you go. It's mm, jellyfish. I'm starving. I don't feel so good all of a sudden. What did you put in that thing? Oh, man, I don't feel good at all. You gave Katie food poisoning? No, I mean, not exactly. Something in the sandwich I made for her didn't agree with her. Where is she now? Outside, leaning over the rail and, you know. Gee, Nan, I've never given any of your friends food poisoning. I'm sure it was just an honest mistake. Give it another try, Nancy. Just go easy on the salmonella this time. Very funny. Okay, let's get a better sandwich. That one is clearly disgusting. She can have a sandwich with ketchup. 
done. Have a ketchup sandwich, Katie. What's up? Here's a sandwich for you. Great. Here you go. Mmm, I'm starving. That was fabulous. Thank you. Okay, you wanted my headlamp. Where's my headlamp? Oh my gosh. It was right here in the engine compartment the whole time. See you in a bit. Enjoy. Yeah, okay. Woo! You need some rest to be gone to fix, fix, fix the, uh, fix that rusted area. Rusty metal, stay calm. Get yourself some rust be gone. You again? Yeah, me again. See you around. Vote for Holt. Spread the word. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Did you know that there's a trap door in the floor of your banquet room? A trap door? No. Where does it go? There's a tunnel under it, but I haven't explored it completely yet. A tunnel? I don't know anything about it. Maybe those stories about all those sailors getting shanghaied are true after all. Look, tunnels are dangerous. I don't want you going down there anymore. You don't mean that. I mean it. Just forget about this whole thing. Only if you call the sheriff and tell him about it. No! Okay, look. I guess if you're real careful, you can keep poking around down there. But I don't want you telling anybody else about that tunnel without coming to me first. I got my reasons. I've also got work to do. Secret reasons she doesn't want anybody to know about that tunnel. You're being super suspicious right now, Jenna. So with the headlamp, we can go into the tunnel. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to exit. I mean, enter and then immediately exit. No. Okay. Let's see. Where does this go? Ooh. Leads to another store. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. I want it. So I think there's an Easter egg if you open this up uh, multiple times. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. Like that kayak would be useful though, Nancy. You could use it. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. wonder how many times right we now. need to open it up. Seconds. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. Yeah, we'll just keep doing this until we get the Easter egg. I don't know how many times. Like ten? You can do it, Nancy. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. I'm not seeing any Easter egg here, everyone. Camping gear is the last thing I need right now. an easter egg there. I'm giving up. Could be the other one. So we want to keep traveling down this way. Hmm. A cairn. Wonder who made it. So many cairns. Glad I'm wearing comfortable shoes because it looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of walking. Walking, 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 walking. Phew, I feel like I've walked for miles. Let's see, this is a spot. Here we go, rust be gone. Yay! I just opened the door. Dead end. That sound. Where have I heard that sound before? 
put the two middle ones up. Opening the door and giving us access to this area. Woo! I'm in the sea caves. Very cool. And a puzzle we can't solve yet. Very sad. I wish we could solve this puzzle right now. Also wish we could escape through here, right? Looks like the only way out of here is the way I came in. Okay, so let's see. Where 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 are we going here? Now that we've got the the now that we have the uh, stuff to get rid of the rusty metal, will be fantastic. Let's see if we can find the other store. Gotta be somewhere here in these underground caves. This just leads to the cairn. Let's see if we can find the uh, other store. Elvis was here. Oh my. the hardware store. Hmm. These caves are a bit of a maze. Is this Jenna's? That's Jenna's. Okay, let's see if we can find that hardware store then. I'm not seeing it here. Okay, that was the one we haven't seen. Here? Here. Hardware store. I've got enough ten penny nails. Thank you very much. Let's do that Easter egg then. Too cool. What? Awesome. Okay, so why did, why isn't that detective solving the case? I feel like he would be a much better detective mystery solver than I would be. Like clearly, Another I can't can. solve this mystery. That man could. Ah, I'm getting stuck. Okay. No, 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 I don't want to go here. Back here, past Elvis, and then up here. Got it. Why is the music so loud? really loud for uh, all you people here in the live stream or is it just me because I can turn the music down a bit oh of course and as I say that the music disappears okay so it was three four seven five Okay, so now it's not rusty. It works. Hello? Hello, Nancy. Hilda here. Hilda? Hilda Swenson? Easy, girl. It's not like you're talking to the Queen of England or anything. Although I did meet her once. Stuffy lot, those Windsors. How did you know my name? Where there's a will and a satellite internet connection, there's always a way. 
Everyone thinks you're crazy, but you don't seem crazy. People think what I want them to think, but let's get on with it. We may be running out of time. I've sent you an email. Read it, follow the instructions, and we'll do lunch. Mmm, lunch. I'm so hungry. We will? No, no, no. It's just an expression, dear. No one in Hollywood ever really has lunch when they say they're going to do lunch. Oh. I'll be in touch. And rest assured, I'll be watching. Which reminds me, someone's been up in the lighthouse. I couldn't see who. I hope they aren't doing any damage. They did leave kind of a mess. We really must put a stop to this, Nancy. Ciao! Okay, people are agreeing the music's a little loud. Dear Ned, here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island. Dear Ned. Drop it down to that. How's that? And now, back to uh, Nancy. Nancy got an email. I don't know how Hilda figured out Nancy's email, but she did. And that email is going to be a puzzle. Woohoo! Where's all this water coming from? Whoa, whoa, whoa water? Yeah, there's water coming here. What is that smell? Katie, your boat stinks. That smells awful. She's got fish everywhere. Yuck. Gross. Disgusting. Not sanitary. Ah, my trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my batteries. Here's the email. Hi, Nancy. So, numbers. We have to figure numbers. How many dollars does she charge for clam chowder? How many cairns are in the puzzle? What's the ID number of the buoy that's got graffiti on it? And we replace those numbers with the real numbers to get special coordinates. What's up? Are you aware that there's a whole lot of fish going bad in your freezer? Of course I am. Whoever tore up my engine damaged my wiring, too. Refrigerator's out, freezer's out, TV's out. Why do you have so much fish? All right. I've been feeding the orca okay, but I'm not the only one. I can't afford to feed her much, and there's not enough natural fish in the channel for her to exist on, yet she's doing fine, which means someone else is feeding her too. You know, this is not a good time for me to be trying to entertain a house guest. How about a rain check? Whoa, 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 whoa. I caught you illegally feeding the orca, and now all of a sudden, ugh, I can't have any guests now. I'm fine with the way things are, but if you insist... As soon as I get this fixed, I'll take you to the mainland so you can catch a flight back to River Heights. I'm sorry, Nancy. George, your friend has some explaining to do. She has some major explaining to do. Let's call George. Hello? Hi, Bess. Can you talk? Hey, Nancy. Of course I can talk. I think she just wanted to make sure nothing on the stove was in danger of igniting. Everything's safely on simmer. What's up? I'm afraid Katie's given me the boot. What do you mean? I mean, as soon as she finishes fixing her boat, she's going to drive me to the airport and send me back to River Heights. She's kicking you out? Why? I found out she'd been feeding the orca, which is illegal, and I guess she was embarrassed and didn't know what else to do. Yeah, that sounds like Katie. I'm sorry, Nan. My gosh, George, you sure have some weird friends. Weird cousins, weird friends. What can I say? I found a letter buried in a box on the beach. It was written by this supposedly crazy woman named Hilda. What do you mean, supposedly crazy? Well, I was told that she went a little wacky after her husband died and became a hermit. But her letter actually made sense. What did it say? She wants me to send her something from the top of the lighthouse in Morse code. I hate to burst your bubble, but she sounds way wacky to me. Well, eccentric, maybe. No, we're talking Liberty Bell here, Nance. The woman is cracked. Be careful. I've talked to Hilda on the phone. So was everyone right about her? Is she mental? Not at all. I think she just enjoys making people use their brains. Ouch, what a meanie. At least she's not as mean as Katie Firestone. She seems to know everything that's going on around here. 
I don't like the way she's always making you jump through hoops. Me neither. Guys, trust me, she's harmless. Yeah, they probably said that about Lizzie Borden, too. Casey, the maritime librarian, suggested that the SS Whitechapel Dawn may have been smuggling something into the U.S. when it went down. I don't get why you're so interested in some shipwreck. I don't know. Finding wood from a wreck that shouldn't be producing driftwood? Something is weird, that's all. I think you should stick to finding out who vandalized Katie's boat. I think you should follow your instincts, even if they do seem totally bizarro. I better get going. See ya. Hasta la pasta. Yeah, that conversation with Katie is really hard to trigger. It does not show up very often, and it really makes her mean. I, I kind of wish they made it easier to find that, because, uh, you know, it took me how many years? Over ten years in order to find that conversation. <laughs> Oh, eight seven three five. So that's the solution to that puzzle. And here's our new thing, our new waypoint. I think it's here. I could be wrong. No, I'm way too far out. Well, that's the one with graffiti on it. And what do we have here, everyone? It's a thingy. I don't know when it opens yet. Hello? Hello, Nancy. I commend your ability to take direction and to follow through. You're definitely a cut above. And for that, you've just been rewarded. You're watching me? Right now? I told you I would be. I always keep my word, Nancy. I think it's the least human beings can do for each other. Now, here's your next mission. Listen carefully. I hope you like poems. <clears throat> Below ground is a rock with a strange anvil look. When you're near it, behold what's above. Letters found at the beach will put a new spot in reach. Letters only a sailor could love. Oh, my apologies, dear. I'm many things, but I'm afraid I'm not much of a poet. Not that I'm complaining, but wouldn't it be easier if you just gave me whatever it is you want me to have? Were I to simply give it to you, you might just turn around and toss it away. But if I make you earn it, you'll feel like it's yours and use it properly. Now, where was I? Ah, the device you just found. It'll come in handy when you get where you're going after you've gone where my poem takes you. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, no, please don't hang up. I've got so many questions. And she just hung up on us. Well, back into town. Kayaking and stuff. Sure does seem like kayaking would be a, a faster way to get around. So, underground, there's a rock with a strange anvil look. She is, of course, referring to that one anvil rock below ground here. Look. There's an rock. opening. It goes to another tunnel. And you look up, and then we go. Where's that piece of paper? There are so many pieces of paper. Nancy, throw out one of them. Okay. Left, right, right, left, left. Left, right, right, left, left. And then. Um, right, right, right three times. Left twice. One. Two, three, left twice. And it's gonna be right and then left, left. More coordinates. I should have known. Let me take a picture of these coordinates. Because. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. 
taking another picture. There we go. And now I have to do this puzzle in reverse. So it's gonna be uh, right, right, left. Right, right, left. Left, right, right, left three times. One, two, three. And it's gonna be right twice and left twice. Right twice, left twice, and then right. Out! Woo! Nancy sure is getting her exercise here today. No, Nancy has been uh, walking for miles. She went all the way from Jenna's place to the lighthouse. Take a look how far apart they are on the map. Uh, after I talk to the characters, of course. You again? See you around. Yo ho ho. They don't want to talk. Hi, Nancy. How's it going? Jenna, is there something you're not telling me about that tunnel I found? Yeah. My family has always denied that Shanghai ever took place in Snake Horse Harbor. Why? Because it did take place. And my great-great-grandfather, the man who built this place, he was a big part of it. I'd always been told that the tunnel he and his cohorts used to kidnap people had been filled in. And Aunt Iris said nothing to me about that trap door you found. If word gets out about that tunnel, the truth about my great-great-grandfather will come out eventually, too. I just wanted to spare my parents' feelings. You know, your clam chowder really is awesome. Say no more. Next one will be on the house, too. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm, Free clam chowder. That was chowder. delicious. Here, let me get rid of that for you. It's been fun talking to you. Yeah, hasn't it, though? All the clam chowder you could eat. So let's take a look at the map. Yeah, so Nancy, uh, by, uh, she walked from here to here underground. That seems like a pretty far trip. And let's enter those coordinates in. Not right now. Okay, let's not. Never mind. Okay, so the coordinates were... 48. Everything's 48 here. <laughs> okay, 48, 42, 522. West, 123... Oh, eight, seven, nine, nine. So way out there. Am I anywhere close to it? A little bit. Oh, oh, that's dangerous. There's a channel marker. Katie said not to go past them. Oh, it's this channel marker. Okay, so I used the device we got from Hilda, the thingy. We got thingy number two! Yeah! No idea how Jenna makes money if she gives off free clam chowder to every single person who comes by. Maybe she only gives free clam chowder to Nancy, and everybody else has to pay. Hilda? Uh-oh, I'm getting predictable. This really will be our last conversation. Oh, I hope not. I'd really like to meet you. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. So, here you are in the home stretch. What if I told you that I'm not going to do anything else until you tell me why this is so important to you? Okay, look. When I made my exit from Snake Horse Harbor, I left everything behind. You know, to kind of prove that I'd lost all my marbles. Problem is, I left behind something that I realize now I should have taken with me. My notebook on Benjamin Hawkins. Someone has obviously found it and is misusing it. See, my husband and I explored every inch of land in, around, and under Snake Horse Harbor. What we discovered, and we discovered everything. We wrote down in that notebook. So this fishy thing that's going on, you feel like it's your fault. Precisely. So, use what I just gave you and take a look at the boat in the bottle that Andy has. A really good look. 
When the time comes, you'll know what to do with what you see. But something just doesn't make sense to me. Why do you want everyone to think you're crazy when you're obviously not? Oh, Nancy. After my husband died, I just got bored. I love the San Juans, but the people of Snake Horse Harbor, I got tired of them. So I moved across the channel, and to make sure people left me alone... You pretended to be nuts. But then I got to thinking that it might be a good idea to make contact with someone trustworthy, just in case. Hence the messages in the bottles. Now, get going before it's too late. And what I just told you, keep it to yourself, okay? Sure. So you won't be calling me anymore? No. This, as they say in the business, is a wrap. Well, I've enjoyed knowing you. And I, you. Thank you, Nancy. Goodbye, Hilda. It's so very sad. We won't get to call Hilda again. We'll never hear from her again. That's it. That's the end. She will stay, stay, stay on her special island away from everybody else. Hilda is practicing good social distancing. I'm kind of busy here, if you don't mind. Sorry. Jeez. I'm kind of busy here, if you don't mind. Sorry. Wow. Ultimate jerk. Okay. Well, let's go back into town. Coming up somewhat close on the end of the game here. Should we call the Hardy Boys or uh, Bess and George before the end of the game? Hi, Nancy. Someone broke into the hot kettle today. No kidding. Wow, that's the third one this week. Apparently all they took was food and boat parts. Sounds a lot like those two other burglaries. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. All right, so we use this. There are some kind of symbols on those sails. Okay, I'll take a picture of this as well. And we'll need this for the uh, end game puzzles, I believe. Oh, here's what happens if you go uh, biking without a helmet. Nancy hits a deer. And dies. Dies. Neglects to wear a helmet, pays the price. Give me a second, I want to see if, if uh, there are unique death scenes. Or if it's always the deer thing. If you always die by deer. No, sometimes you die by rough road. Ow! Lands in the hospital. And now I'll do the third one, and then we'll call the Hardys, okay? Dip. Nancy, 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 Nancy. Always wear a helmet. Every single time. Otherwise, you die. Every single time. Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. Hey! Joe, lock her up and then get to a phone. It's Nancy! He's locking someone up? Goldie, she's not a someone. She's a something. Hey, Nancy. How's life in the Pacific Northwest? Well, someone ransacked Katie's boat just before I arrived. Wow, that's great. I knew you were gonna say that. She's got a mystery to solve. She's supposed to be on vacation? Crime never takes a vacation, Frank. <laughs> What was that? That was Goldie. She's this dog we found. We're waiting for her owner to come get her. That's nice of you guys. Well, unfortunately, there's a problem. She eats a lot? She's as big as an SUV. Fully loaded. She's in the garage. I'm upstairs. That's how big her bark is, so you can imagine how big she is. 
Was there a reward out for her? That's the good news. We're talking triple digits. Wow! Enough about us. Let's hear what you've been up to, Nancy. Andy Jason has a boat and a bottle that Katie says was made by a settler in the mid-1800s who would periodically and mysteriously disappear. Mysteriously? Whenever this ex-pirate would show up, Benjamin Hawkins, that was the settler's name, he'd vanish for days at a time. Nobody knows where he and his family hid. I know how he did it. You know how he vanished? I know how he got the boat in the bottle. Oh. How? Can't tell you. Been sworn to secrecy. But I can tell you this. It does not involve any kind of shrinking machine. It turns out that the tunnel is connected to the lighthouse. And when the door between them opens, so does this other door that leads from the lighthouse into the sea caves. Of course. That's how the Shanghaiers would get their victims out to the boats in the harbor. And how the burglars have been escaping with their loot. I kind of feel like I've gotten way off track, though. I mean, what does any of this have to do with Katie? Keep going, Nancy. You're getting close to something. Yeah, you've got doors flying open all over the place. Just keep it up. To get around on the water in Katie's kayak, I've been using a GPS. A global positioning system? Cool! If you have the coordinates for a specific place, you just enter them and it shows up on the display screen, right? That's right. In fact, I did just that and found a box someone buried on this secluded beach. You found a geocache. I hear that using GPS units to track down stuff that other people have hidden is a hobby for some people. That sounds cool. Sure does. In fact, a GPS would make a great gift, don't you think, Nancy? For, like, say, a big brother to give his little brother for, like, say, his upcoming birthday? That probably depends on the big brother. And on what the little brother has done for him lately. Always a catch. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. See you around the compass. I don't need their hint for this next puzzle. It's a very simple puzzle. Okay, so it's four is three, four, seven, five. The code to get inside here. Got it. Pull this lever. And we'll go outside and climb down. Here we go. So we want to press the symbols. The symbols that were on the, the boat. So... Let's see, this is one of them. Let's say the W is one of them. And then the other two are going to be that, that cross and that star. No. Okay, we'll go with the star. That W. And then that cross. That creates a retractable wall. I wonder where that goes to. Sweet. Okay. Then I just go back. Then I need to kayak there. I need to kayak there. And it's the culprit's hideout. One of the culprit's hideouts. This culprit has multiple hideouts. But a very dangerous culprit indeed. Going off into the unknown, into the unknown. I'm kind of busy here, if you don't mind. Sorry. What if I made you a sandwich? Speaking of sandwiches, before we're done, we wanted to make one of these sandwiches. Ice cream sandwich. Yeah. Chocolate ice cream. Mmm. I love it. Yummy. <laughs> Oh, yes. And then I go all the way over here. So, wow. secret passage. This must be where Benjamin Hawkins used to hide out. Secret passage is over here. 
trained her. She's not wild at all. Ow, how did Nancy not get extremely hurt with, with that being thrown at her violently? Yeah, the orca plays catch. Maybe she wants to play catch. It's so cute. Ah, so very, very cute. And this just looks like scuba diving gear. That piece of driftwood I found must have come from a container just like this one. Yes, the culprits were using, were using the orca to to grab the smuggled cargo. They strapped this to her, some marine animal harness, which I think is just wrong. This I do not think we should be putting that on top of 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 orca. I don't think so. And guess what? Firestone. Those must belong to Katie. Katie's gloves. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what a cute orca. Hello? Hi, Nance. We're bored silly here, so we thought we'd give you a call. What's going on? Great timing, you guys. You will not believe what I just discovered. What? Tell us. For one thing, that orca that's been causing all the trouble around here... It's not wild at all. It's been trained. How do you know? Because I played fetch with it. I'd toss something into the water, and it would use its head to kind of bonk it back to me. Maybe it just picked that up on its own. No, see, I found this hidden sea cave, and in it was this harness-type thing like the military uses on the orcas that it trains. So what do you think it's been trained for? I'm pretty sure it has something to do with that piece of driftwood I found. Do you think somebody trained the orca to dive down to that shipwreck and retrieve whatever the White Chapel Dawn was carrying? Casey the librarian did say the ship could have been smuggling something, and people don't usually bother smuggling something unless it's valuable. Who trained it? That's what I want to know. Well, in that hidden sea cave, I came across something else. What? A pair of work gloves. They had Katie's name on them. Oh my gosh. Katie's behind all this? Not necessarily. Those gloves may have been stolen from her. Have you asked her about them? Not yet. I'm on my way to do that right now. Well, get going and let us know what she says as soon as she says it. I will. Okay. Nancy, Nancy basically explained the storyline, so I don't have to. Yes. Katie's gone. Katie took off. Oh no. She's left. She left me all alone. I'm very sad now. So that was an air tank. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. The air tank was the yellow thing that was knocked into into the water. As the orca plays fetch with air tanks. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Something to remember, we'll see that again pretty soon. You again? Yeah, it's me. I need a favor. I need you to take me out on your boat. Right now? What for? Well, uh, I think Katie is breaking the law. Well, it's a long story, but Katie Firestone may or may not be involved in something illegal. I'm not taking my boat out now. It's almost dark. Just call the Coast Guard. I can't. Not until I know for sure what's going on. I can explain on the way. Look, I'm not going anywhere. And if you know what's good for you, neither are you. Just forget it. Forget it. Oh. I heard everything you told Holt. Believe me, there's nothing I'd like better than to help you get the goods on Ms. High and Mighty. But I got a cafe to run. Try Andy Jason. All of a sudden, everybody's terrible. Like, Katie just takes off while Nancy's in the middle of kayaking. Holt wants you to forget it. Forget it. And, and Jenna? I'm telling you, Andy Jason's your only hope. No, he's not. I'm telling you, Andy Jason's your only hope. Oh. Can I call Nancy's friends here? Might as well, right? Last time we can call them. I don't think we could call Dr. Predavichu again. I've never tried that. You have reached the desk Voicemail. of Dr. Irina Predovichu. I'm away from my desk, but we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Thank you. See if the Hardys have something new to say. 
Hardy Res, Joe speaking. Hi, Joe. Me again. Hey, Nancy. We're both here. Is the dog still there, too? <laughs> Never mind. Her owner is on his way to pick her up. He better be. Goldie, be quiet. How do you know her name? It was on her collar along with the phone number. There's just one problem. What? Goldie is about as black as dogs get. I'm sure her owner can explain when he comes to pick her up. Which better be soon. The neighbors are starting to complain about the noise. <coughs> Goldie, bad dog! Talk to you later. Be careful. And have fun. Aww, I wish I could talk to them about something interesting. We'll try Bess and George. Hello? Hi, Bess. Hey, Nancy, what's going on? I better get going. Bess, do you smell something burning? Shoot! Bye, Nance! Okay, never mind, we can't talk to anyone. That was a waste of time. So, Andy Jason is my only hope. This guy is my only hope. I think I'm doomed. Hi, Nancy. I was hoping you could help me. I was just about to close up shop, but what do you need? Katie fixed her boat and took it out. She may have gone out to the site of this old shipwreck. In any case, I'd really like to catch up to her. And you'd like me to give you a ride? Me and my kayak. Kayak? Are you nuts? It'll be dark in ten minutes, and what about the fog? What? It's that close to sunset? I need you to take me out one and a half miles due northwest of the lighthouse. Please, this is really important. I can explain on the way. Oh, man. You've got me so curious, there's no way I can say no. You just got yourself a boat ride. Be careful. I'll be waiting right here. Bye. And yeah, the culprits are on this boat. Dun, dun, dun. That's a giant one, actually. It's humongous. Whale's making her final dive. Good. The launch just brought in the last of the stuff that was stored in the sea cave. Another hour, and we'll be out of here. If the crew sees me, I'm done for. Nancy needs to hide in clever spaces like this one. What are you eating? Beef jerky. Liberated it from that camping supply place. Want some? Still can't believe you robbed those places. The boss was fit to be tied, especially after you hit that cafe. Having that tunnel with all those trap doors and nobody suspecting a thing? It was like being a kid with a key to the candy store. I couldn't help myself. Wonder what's in those? Those look like animal furs. Smuggled animal furs. Hey, no snoozing. Boss says this Nancy Drew person is a real troublemaker. Like she's gonna show up out here. I'm just telling you what the boss told me. Now keep your eyes open. Okay. Where'd you put the notebook? Boss has it. Nice of Hilda Nutjob to leave it behind like that, huh? Couldn't have pulled this off without it, that's for sure. And escaping. I can't call anyone now. Someone might hear me. Aw, oh, come on, Nancy. I can't call anyone now. Someone might hear me. So there we go. That must be the orca I saw before. Must be, must be. So that's the orca. The orca's there. And here we go. Katie Firestone is... Katie? Not the culprit. Oh my gosh. Yep, she's the victim. Nancy, I was afraid no one would ever find me. What happened? How did you get here? I fixed my boat and went right out to check on the whale. Only the fog was rolling in and it was getting dark. Then I finally saw her, only she was being fed by some men in an outboard. They were putting some sort of harness on her. When they saw me, they rammed my boat, then grabbed me, tied me up, and brought me here. I don't know what's going on. I think I do. They're using the whale to bring up smuggled cargo from a shipwreck. Shh! Listen! Someone's coming! Hide! 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 The real culprit is... Dun, 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 dun. Well, Katie, you'll be happy to know that your friend Nancy will be joining us any minute. Hey, how'd you get that gag off? Well, it appears she's already here. 
All right, where are you? Nancy? If I could make it back to my kayak, I could go get help. So Andy is the culprit. He was only pretending to help Nancy when he dropped her off at his secret hideout. Why did he do that? Why didn't Uh-oh. he just knock her unconscious to begin with? Uh-oh. Say goodnight, Nancy. No, 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 no. Oh! Somebody stop her! Run! Run and oh! Oh no! no. I'm trapped! Well, what do we have here? I knew it was you all along, and I told Holt and Jenna, if anything happens to me, they'll know you did it. Nice try, but I can smell a bluff a mile away. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident, or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Andy, I mean, Nancy, hit him! Do something! Say goodnight, Nancy. No, no, no. Oh no! I'm trapped! Well, what do we have here? I knew it was you all... Yeah, if Nancy had put the gag back on Jenna, none of this would have happened. Nancy wouldn't have been caught by Andy. Along. And I told Holt and Jenna, if anything happens to me, they'll know you did it. Nice try. But I can smell a bluff a mile away. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident. Or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So what you want to do is throw this in the water. Because you can't use it on him. He's just Say buff. good night, Nancy. He's just too buff. He's just too buff. So that air tank, yes, you want to use the air oh, tank no, on I'm the trapped. water. Well, what do we have here? I knew it was you all along, and I told Holt and Jenna, if anything happens to me, they'll know you did it. Nice try, but I can smell a bluff a mile away. You're about to become the victim of an unfortunate kayaking accident. Or maybe I'll tell my customers that the snake horse got you. Yeah, that's what I'll do. How do I use it on the orca in the water? Okay, there, there. Got it. Done! Done! Stop the culprit! What did you do that for? Say goodnight, Nancy. Nuts. Way to go, buddy! Yeah! Nancy Drew! Nancy Drew, are you on board? This is Holt Scotto. I'm here with the Coast Guard. Nancy! Dear Ned, I've got to hand it to Andy Jason. The plan he cooked up to recover smuggled animal furs was a darn good one. First, he got himself an orca that the Russians had trained for covert military operations. Then, he made it look like the whale was an orphan, so he could hide her in plain sight while she did his dirty work at night. Then, he and his henchmen disabled Katie's boat to keep her out of their way. They needed work gloves, so they stole hers. In fact, Andy's henchmen couldn't resist using the tunnel they'd found out about in Hilda's notebook to steal practically everything they could get their hands on. But now Andy and his buddies are in jail, Jenna is serving more clam chatter than ever, Katie is planning to vote for Holt after all, the orca is getting along great with a local pod and is rapidly losing interest in humans, and I'm back on the ferry headed home. See you soon, Nancy. P.S. Just before I left. I saw something appear, then quickly disappear in the channel by Katie's boat. She said it was just a log, but I'm pretty sure it was you-know-who saying goodbye. Woohoo! Yeah, so it's a good thing that Holt changed his mind and decided to save Nancy after all. A very, very good thing, because previously he said, eh, forget it. So I got an Easter egg. Hooray! Hey, fellow detective, ever been to a ranch? I haven't, but I've been invited to one. It's in Arizona, and it's called Shadow Ranch, and I can't wait to go. You're invited too, but I should probably warn you, it could be a little dangerous. Dangerous? How? <laughs> it's a ghost horse. 
Nancy Drew. The Secret of Shadow Ranch. Coming soon. Yeah, Holt. Holt is super late to the party. Yeah, I love how uh, Jenna. What did Jenna do at the end? Well, she gets to serve more clam chowder, and that's that's her resolution. That's her for the rest of her life, just serving clam chowder. It feels like there could have been more. It, it, also with Katie, it's like, well, Katie's voting for Holt. Great. Well, what about the fact that Katie was a jerk who tried to kick me out? What about the fact that Katie was breaking the rules about feeding the orca? Huh? Huh? How about that? I, 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 I don't know. Katie was just mean. I feel like she shouldn't get a happy ending. Although, really, is voting for Holt a happy ending? I mean, I guess I'm glad that she likes Holt now. Because Holt's, Holt's an angry pirate and he did save Nancy's life. Did Nancy visit Andy in jail just to take that picture of him? Yeah, you know, it is interesting. Yes, yes, Holt saved Holt saved Katie, and he saved uh, Nancy. But, you know, she still doesn't like him politically. I guess she just votes for him because she likes him personally. That's it. Ooh, the Whale Museum. Yes. Special thanks to the Whale Museum. Whales rule! Deception Island is fictitious, but you can go to the San Juan Islands. They are very real. We encourage you to visit them, but look out for Caddy! Well, that's it for Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, we managed to save the day. We saved the orca. I really feel better about saving the orca than anything else. I don't care about recovering the treasure as much. 